awesome is that? What's up guys, Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Super pumped. You know how much I love my miniature engines. I have the four-stroke, the toy engine, the single cylinder, the two cylinder, the four cylinder straight in line and the uh, V4 all from toy and but this is a new one from Sison, I believe it's called. It's a pan head like a Harley Davidson 45 degree V twin four stroke engine. So pumped. Really looking forward to this guys. Now this one might be a little bit more difficult to install in something but you know me I definitely love to do it. So if you're interested in this links are down below. Go check it out. It's from Sterling Kit. Always supportive. Good old Sterling Kit. I love those guys. They have so many cool products. So first up we have a destruction manual. Quick look at the specs here. Nice little uh, burp here from the designer as well, which is really nice to see. Gives you a little bit of uh, troubleshooting if you can't get it going. But here we go here. Sison FG9VT, 16.67mm uh, bore, 21mm stroke, 9cc displacement, 1.5 kilos. Angle is 45 degrees, has spark plugs obviously. And it runs on gas or Zippo fuel, uh, fuel with a blend of 25 to 1. So... Not much else in here. We don't want to see all that. We want to see this guy going ASAP. And also you get the flanges here and a few exhausts. So obviously you've got two there. And they screw on just like that. But let's have a quick look. Check out this now. I'm really excited. There is your starting plug you put into the end of your drill. CDI box because it is spark plugs. So hook up I think 6 volt to that guy. There's your ground. That goes to your engine and the uh, battery, and there's one and two spark plugs, or plug wires for the spark plugs. Some O-rings here, and with the motor itself, sorry, the engine itself. One-handed, check out this. That is something to behold. Now, it's big in the hand, joke goes there, but there we go water spark plugs now I believe this is for future development for a starter motor which would be fantastic because then be able to put a clutch on here because that's the only difficult part at the moment to retrofit this into something because if you need to start it from here you can't put a clutch on there so guys give me some ideas some suggestions but there we go so first and foremost the quality is amazing it's so heavy it's really nice design a gasket there on each cylinder Spin it around here. So that's where you screw in your exhausts. So classic design. So it's a, I do believe it's a pan head. So it gets it. I gets that name because they look like a, a pan upside down, a cooking pan upside down. But two valves per cylinder. There's your push rods, I believe. So inlet and exhaust. Nice quality. Look at that. Now the toy and motors I've had, they're fantastic as well. So this here is a different manufacturer. So really nice to see. You've got a nice flywheel, and that's where you stick your that shaft in. Just go right here. Stick it in there, and you are good to go. Move up here. There is your adjustment for your idle, I believe. Oh, sorry, your fuel mixture. And on this side, um, no, I do believe that's your, that'll be your idle. We'll, we'll check it out. There is your in, uh, inlet for your fuel. Obviously, your carburetor, typical style there nothing too fancy and i do believe there's some more adjustments there as well so interesting interesting design really looking forward to that it has some nice uh like it's just i can't get over how nice the quality is so if, like interested links are in the description like always you can always buy something from there you always support my channel and that uh that helps me out a lot the distributor how cool <laughs> so just like the real thing just miniature I do believe that might be the oil so it comes out there because it doesn't have its own oil pump. But I do believe there is an option for people to retrofit an oil pump or something of that description because in the manual it says here retrofitting an oil pump. So there we go there. So you might be able to design something yourself. If not, it'll just come out there like the uh, or the normal toy and ones and stuff like that but you can adjust the timing apparently to take off this cover and that is that but pretty scarce uh, instruction manual not much else to say or see here but it does give you common problems and stuff like that so 
says you can use Zippo or gas and 5 to 10 percent uh, oil. That's all it is. Spin it by hand a little bit, prime up the carburetor, and we should be good to go. Yeah, so just block the inlet there, rotate it three to five turns, and you should be good to go. But how cool! Imagine this in a Morgan, you know, those mad Morgan three wheel cars, two at the front and one at the back. Imagine you can figure something like that out. Oh man, that'll be sweet. But definitely need to get around the problem of starting it through here because that's where you need to put a clutch. A little brushless motor would definitely fit in there. I'm pretty sure in the future they'll figure something out. But all right, enough blabbering. Let me try to get this just temporary set up somewhere, even in, in a vise, and we'll hook it up. Shouldn't take too long and see how we go. Quick update I added a return spring. Just there for the throttle. Just use one of those little screws in the. Uh, head there that's it and also what's weird this side two screws for the engine mounts were tapped M3 these ones weren't so I just tapped them run it through uh, through an M3 tap and they're good to go so I'm not too sure they were just smooth board these two were tapped these ones weren't so I think that's uh, I think that's going around but anyway there we go should be nice snaps back sweet all right guys look at this ghetto Vice, but it works. Fun to see if it runs and it does. So it's got this little six volt, uh, we're well, around about six volts hooked up to it, and it sounds awesome. <laughs> I just turned it on quickly just to see if it all runs. Listen to this bad boy. Nice slow idle. You adjust it here, put the screw here, put a return spring on. That's how nice it sounds. It's rattling everything on the table here, but um, it sounds awesome. Look at that idle. Like an old school flathead Harley, sorry, panhead. This is straight out of the box. Let's try that again. Straight out of the box. 25 to 1 uh, mixture for oil. It raise the idle a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Look how it's shaking it. This is in a clamp. Imagine it's in like a Morgan, one of those three wheelers. Give it a bit of a rev. I'm really impressed, to be honest. It sounds sick. Straight out of the box. If you're interested, guys, links are down below. If you haven't, please subscribe. Check out this thing. It's not going to stay in this vice. I just wanted to get the video out and show you because I'm just super pumped. As soon as I got it here, I've done a short video. Listen to that thing. Sounds awesome. Straight out of the box. And shut it off. Obviously, they're sitting here. Happy days. So. If you like the video guys, give it a good old thumbs up. If you haven't, like I said, please subscribe if you're interested in this stuff. If, if you have this, let me know what you think of it. Um, let me know what you want me to put it in. Definitely a lot difficult, uh, like I said before, because the starting is here and you need a clutch here. Hopefully there's going to be a mod here for a little um, brushless motor. But we'll soon see. But thanks guys, hope you liked it. See you in the next video.